Hey guys, Mark here. I am out in the Sheep Valley once again. Yes, the starting to hammer away at this valley has begun early this year. It's uh, it's definitely kind of fun. Um, I'm here pretty late. One thing about this time of year is, you know, there's so much sunlight that I can just sleep in after, you know, days and days of work and come out here and I still have tons of sunlight. I mean, my legs will not outlast the sunlight. It's not like it is in, uh, you know, like November type thing where darkness is a thing. On the other hand, though, I have to be careful of thunderstorms. But it's still only May, so, you know, that's more of a July thing. I mean, if you hike late into the day, you might get hammered with a thunderstorm, right? Today is a smoke day. So I don't want to do anything with big views or anything. I just want to come out and check out some trails and uh, whatever view you get, you get, right? Okay, I'm in the purple one. I'm going to go do Missing Link Mountain. There's several ways to go and do this mountain. I've been up before. Okay, so I am at the Bighorn parking lot. This is what I've done before. I went up here, came up, got to the mountain, and then I sort of made my own way down to Dot Mountain, and then I ended up bailing down this meadow and just walking back along the road. So today, I'm going to walk along the road, go up the first one here, up 21A. And then I want to continue on 21C, come down the back side, and go and intercept back here, and then come back. One nice thing I like about parking at Bighorn is that most of my highway walk will be taken care of right off the hop. I did not do a good job today of packing. I always say, you know, follow a list, and yet I don't do it myself sometimes. So I forgot my ball cap and I forgot my shoes. I think I even stuffed socks in them at the door and then I just left them there. This is funny though, on my last hike, uh, one of these old you know, $85 trekking poles that I got, like not even last season, I don't think, snapped. And so I went and got my old black diamond which still worth which still is fine you know I managed to take the pieces apart and put one together so I have one that has a tip and a strap and so on this hike I have one of each and I mean this one here you can even see that it's like curved <laughs> bent now, I haven't had time to go and pick up more of them so <laughs> so that's kind of funny that's what I'm using today <laughs> okay Certainly don't use this parking lot very often. A whole bunch of people here, they rode their bikes. Now they're sitting down there just in chairs they brought and enjoying the amazing view of that meadow down there, Bayhorn. It's uh, always good to see people out enjoying. There is smoke, but actually at the moment it's not that bad. I actually thought about going and doing something a little bit more real today, but yeah, screw it. Bighorn Meadows is beautiful. Like, it's cool how the grass just goes right up to the edge of the river and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, I believe this here is my first target. Right off the hop, you climb 244 meters. So you go up either the left or the right way. And I believe my target is the right way. On the left is actually a whole bunch of bighorn sheep right now, so definitely another reason to avoid that. Okay, you can start here or start over there by the gate. You gotta gain the southeast ridge somehow, some way. You're just supposed to figure it out yourself. I don't think this is actually the one. It's I mean it's either there or here, so it's in there someplace. All right, well, I see a bit of a trail starting up this little, whatever that is, little outlet. So let's try that. It'll also give me a bit of shade because of course, I'm gonna have like a sun headache tomorrow from having my head in the sun. I, the ball cap, that's a big, that's a big one to forget, man. That is, in my mind, that's very important. 
and I forgot it, so that sucks. All right, you can see the cows have made a very nice little trail going up this way, so, so far so good. Got the blood pumping. It's working out okay, but you know, sometimes a draw like this will just end in a steep, something unclimbable, so just kind of neat. Oh, all right, I've been crossing, going to whoever side's better. Going back to the left side now. All right, here's the draw. I've kind of climbed up this thing here. <sighs> Definitely more to go. <sighs> Looks nicer over there, <laughs> but you know. Okay, this will be a tough push, but hopefully then my climbing is done for a little while anyway. A lot of wind up here, a little hard to shoot video, but we'll try. You can see I made it to the top of that bluff. I don't think that's the Southeast Ridge yet though. There's more climb up here. I think the Southeast Ridge comes like this. So that's the ridge that uh, Jill talks about. So I gotta do that before I turn left and then find a trail. I gotta be careful, right? This is more a route, especially the part I'm doing now. This is a route, not a trail. So I gotta be careful about directions. I really can't believe I forgot my ball cap. I'm just exposed, exposed, exposed. But I have a toque. I'll just wear this as much as I can stand it. But I mean, God, it's hot out here. All right? I can already feel the effects of the sun just smashing into my skull. Well, Jill talks about like research plots and stuff. I came kind of up the middle of where she suggested the two ways, so I didn't really see any of that until now. Now I'm starting to see these man-made poles. One over there, a few up there. Oh, I think this is the end, but I mean, of that ridge, but yeah. <laughs> it's the top of the ridge. Maybe there was an old fence here or something. I don't know. I don't see any barbed wire. I'm gonna take a picture and put out my coordinates and you can figure out your way up here. Yeah. You can even see in the picture that there is a, there is a, a Maps B trail for the top of this ridge. So I guess you can always just try that. Maybe that's a better way up here. All right, I had a nice break in the trees. Took off my sweaty toque, now it's back on. 244 meters of climb done. And the whole thing is 466, so over half done. Boy, oh boy. Phew. Okay, according to directions now, turn left. Basically walk along the ridge top, eventually I'll pass a big cairn, so that's kind of the next thing I want to look for. Beautiful. I can already see a bit of a trail starting to form that the cows and the goats have made. I guess that answers that question. I think there was an old drift fence up here. But the barbed wire, I think it's gone, which... Kudos, man. I respect that. I have found a lot of drift fences that are destroyed but they just leave the barbed wire out there to harass anything that it catches on oh, here's a cairn kind of mysterious oh. it is so rare that i run into people out on the trails i do and you know why i ran into him he works at the research station so we chatted for like 10 minutes. I mean, this guy knows his stuff, right? He knows his area. So yeah, anyway, that was kind of cool. All right, I passed that pile of rocks. That might be a large cairn. 
that Jill was talking about. To me, there's still kind of an obvious trail in here, so follow that for a bit. Grass, 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 grass. And then you got this neat little feature here. Kind of cool. I gotta say now, after all that climbing, this has become a wonderful little walk and the trail is super obvious. This is beautiful in here. Sometimes it opens up enough to see things. So you got views and it's open forest. This is actually like kind of the first time I got stuff with trees coming down, but it's become really easy, really nice. Just a nice nature walk. Hey bear. Bit of an open area, kind of lose the trail. You can see right here that someone, it looks like someone marked where it goes back in trees. It'd be very easy to miss. This does not get used much. I don't think horse parties are on this much. Clearing is back there. I sort of went straight and thought maybe I had found something, but it faded away. Now I've started hiking up here and how? Not super hard to find once you do come across it. Looking less and less like a ridge and now I'm starting to climb. Well, knew it was coming. Whew. Okay, I think I've reached the top of something. I don't talk about this much, but every so often I will try and help out the trail, all right? One's pretty big, actually. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. All right. Okay. No laws out here about clearing off the trail. All I'm doing is pushing a dead tree over the other direction in this case. Hardest part was... Ugh. They can stand up through these things. But yeah, every so often I will try and clear things out. Do my part. All right, so as I was saying, I feel like I reached the top, as Jill was talking about. Oh, now maybe it's starting to climb again. And then it descends to the right and climbs up again. So I gotta be careful. Like it descends to a valley head, so I gotta be very careful that I don't end up going down that, right? You know, I never did the safety talk. Know yourself, know your gear, know your trail. The trail, I know part of it because I've already hiked it. That one section over there, I got my phone, I got waypoints, but other than that, it's the, it's the uh, kind of nicest trail guide, right? Follow Joel's directions. Usually you won't go wrong as long as you don't screw up following them. The gear, I have my Garmin inReach. Someone also knows where I am. Obviously I forgot some key items. Like you say, you know, follow a list, use a list. I've said it a lot, but I don't always follow it. Uh, I know myself, so I'm still dealing with my back, but I feel like it's okay for day hikes. Help strengthen it a little bit. I'm trying to walk all different now, a little different than I used to, I'm trying to use different muscles. Anyway, I think that's all I got for this one. Another little resource I can use in this case is Ask Me does have a, a trail that shows and in, you know as far as figuring out where to turn right it shows a right turn in 250 meters so hopefully I can you know that's not something you want to follow religiously but it just give me a little hint as to what's going on. All right there's not much to go on up here like I've been following it straight, but you know, like this is what it's starting to become, which does not seem like the trail. There's been a couple little breakaways, but they're just little things. Mask me does show it breaking off and turning to the right. You know, this is kind of a flat ridge up here. So over here, then it starts to go down. So I gotta find 
where the trail kind of heads over here. Well, this looks good here, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'll follow it for a bit. Okay, so I have reached like the end of this ridge. Now it goes down no matter what direction I go. You can see here's the valley and the valley head that she talks about. So she talks about going to the right, descending that way. And the trail on Mass Me also does that. So let's see what I can find once again. There's not really anything. It's also like the forest is almost a little too open, right? Because it's easy to go almost any direction. So I gotta find something. Okay, it took me like 30 seconds. Found a trail and I found human marks. You know, these are uh, blazes. So I think this is correct. That was the trail I came through. You know, it kind of peters out a little bit, starts to get worse. And then it's like, I come to this and it's going up. It looks even nicer, but it's going back to that ridge, turn around and so now I've intercepted kind of a better trail. So it looks like kind of the main trail I missed this trail, but hey, you know, I'll take it as long as I end up going where I need to go, right? You can see there's even human cuts here. So this has clearly gotten some care over the years. All right, here's the trail. I found the cut line that Jill talks about. According to her, the trail peters out and then you come to a sign that says like Chevron or something just before you get to the cut line. Well, no. So I'm on something different than she talked about, right? Because the trail absolutely keeps on going. So she says head north and then you climb up. And I mean, the waypoints I made uh, on my other hike when I was just below Missing Link, they're not far away. If I go here and then turn left and go up, I am really not far. So I think this is fine, this trail here. And I'm going to continue to follow it. Does not, like I say, does not appear that I'm on the precise trail that she's talking about, but I did manage to find something going the right way. This trail has led me a little bit astray. I'm kind of still going in a decent direction. I found a little spring and a mud hole. Just peters out here, so this would be what the animals were coming to on that trail. And it keeps going out this side, which is generally the right way. This thing links about here. So yeah, this is, <laughs> it's gotten fairly guess, you know, where to go. And now I'm walking into this. I think all pretense of a trail is gonna be gone. I mean, where do I go, right? Just keep going straight for now, but I think my following a trail with human cuts and stuff, I think that's over. Yeah, still got a little animal something I can follow here. See how much farther I want to follow this. So this, after having a look at my phone, this is going basically right at uh, Missing Link. So I can handle that. I will uh, take a screenshot of my phone and show you where I am right now. Not just an animal trail, you know. Animals don't cut things like that. This is a long time ago, mind you, but someone did some work on it. Taking a little break. I'm only 350 meters now from missing a link. This trail is working out really well. Joe doesn't really talk about a trail. She just talks about you climb through the forest, right? So, hey, this trail works. It works. I feel like this is a better way than what Joe describes. All right, so here's the trail I just came off of. It sort of veered left and came up to intercept. This is kind of the main trail at the missing link. I think this comes from... Uh, this comes from the parking lot down here. 
Gorge Creek. Now you just follow this. Cool. And now I think I actually popped off that trail a little fast. I think I should be over here someplace, but whatever. I am headed in the correct direction. It's very easy walking. I got there. Well, I definitely took the roundabout way, but here we go. It's going to be windy here. You can already hear it. Woo! All right, so the top is just over here around the corner. I came in here to take a bit of a break in the shade. There's a bit of a trail that starts back down here. So the next goal is to do 21C. At this point now I've accomplished 21A and 21B. And right now coming off the back of this thing is a nice looking trail. So descend to the first coal and then pick up a game trail and climb through grass to the second coal. That's the directions, so let's see how far this, uh, very nice trail right here. Let's see how far that takes me to start with. First, I thought this was some kind of trail mark because it was sort of sitting like that. <laughs> so it looked like a diamond, but it's just, yeah, some mark for logging or oil or something. So far this is working out. It's super obvious where to go, right? You just kind of stick beside the steep ledge. And uh, the trail makes it even more obvious. You follow a trail, you really got to, really got to stay on top of it. Like, is it still going the way I want? Is it still, you know, look at all these cuts. But then down here, uh, maybe there's something there too, but... You know, it's already starting to get kind of overgrown, but it appears to be kind of going the right direction I want to go. I don't know here. You can kind of see the break in the trees here. This is a really old something. Like, no one has been down this in a long time, but you can see very old cuts. Once upon a time, this was quite the trail. All right, so it is officially going to be a bushwhack, because, I mean, I kind of want to stay near you know, the edge over there. This one sort of seems to be going. Also, it sucks, right? <laughs> you take all the trees out, then you got these low-lying pieces of crap. And in the open forest, it's actually a little nicer. I'm over beside the ledge again. To me, it's a whole lot easier to navigate when you're right over by that ledge. That trail is starting to head off away from it. So, you know, as soon as the trail starts doing something you don't like, just leave it. Go start doing your thing. Found a nice nature trail. If you can piggyback on trails that nature has been using for like decades, why not, you know? Why not uh, use what they've already tramped down? Oh, but it's going down there. I'm not so sure I want that either. Hmm. Another reason to try and stay along the ledge, right? Every so often it breaks out and you get a little something. You see this over here? This appears to be where I would want to go, but it's also kind of the wrong direction. I feel like Jill's map kind of points me more that way, so not totally sure. Well, you know, carry on down here. That should be the first coal down there and figure it out. Okay, this is a low point. I feel like this is coal number one. So now I gotta climb up to top two on snippet of game trail and then grass. So let's see if we can't find this grass. I go ahead and assume that that's not what she means. All right, looking back, I think that's a uh, missing link. 
I'm gonna do a bit of a flat part. I see some rocks. I think that'll be uh, top two. All right, I think this is top two. Look at this wonderful little walk I got coming. Phew. I'm not gonna worry about what I think the map is saying. I might actually, I think I'm following the directions very well. So I'll go with that. Woo, amazing. Oh, amazing. Awesome. Cool. Figure my way down and start walking along that. Not sure if you can see the little rock goes across. I think that's what I was standing on before. And looking at this, wondering if I should come here or not. But I mean, come on, how can I not? Gorgeous. Okay, so now I have no choice but to enter the trees. She talks about top two and then top three. That short little descent and back up, did that signify a coal? So this is actually top three. I'm not sure, but at the end of top three, you're supposed to turn east, which basically I must turn east. There's really nothing but a sharp drop off over here. I should pass a spring surrounded by moose bones. So let's see what happens pretty easy nature trail in here right now so ugh. god damn uh, spider webs yuck Well, I think I missed the spring with the moose bones, but I think I'm doing okay. I'm on, right now at least, I'm on a bit of a nature trail. I would normally be going a little faster than this, but with just the one hand, you know. Here you can see the drop off here, and I'm being careful not to wander right. So I do want to stay on the ridge. If you start going down the wrong way, it's real easy to do that. So, but uh, I think it's going okay so far. All right. I think top four is pretty obvious. Just gotta make my way through here. Let's figure that out. I think I got top four basically beat. I feel like down here is the better view. Top three, that's probably missing link back there. top four what i believe is top four just back here i just walked down to the edge in here trying to see if there's another top just in case maybe that's not top four right maybe i decide i skipped the top but i can't see nothing so i think i have reached top four it's as far as i can go on the missing missing link like ridge right so the next instruction is to turn southeast which is sort of this way into uh, matchstick pines. And I think now is gonna be when it starts to be kind of a battle and like guesswork, all right? I have to, I have to keep the compass function going, right? Just constantly just trying to go southeast and yeah, try to, uh, you know, now we're talking bushwhack. I mean, especially the way she describes it. Up to this point, I think it's been easy. You know, I have bushwhacking is when your arms and legs are getting scratched and, you know, you're just not happy. There's a nature trail, which is continuing to go this way. But, uh, yeah, I haven't found that yet. Let's see what this nature trail does. But right now it's kind of going the wrong way. I want to go over here. All right, southeast is kind of like that. And the nature trail sort of goes this way. So it's not bad, but figure this out. This is, look at this. Yeah, here we go. Now it becomes, it's gonna start becoming a real, a real zigzag, right? Coming along all right so far. See, I did 21B 
on another backpack and I matched, I marked exactly where I need to intercept off this 21C. And it's one kilometer away. So that is, in my mind, that is invaluable intel. It's the kind of thing you do to make these things, to make it doable, right? Okay, top four is just over here. You know, this shows as kind of an open area on Topo and it's much, much nicer than those pines. So I kind of backtracked a little bit like straight south instead of southeast. And this is what I end up with. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I like this a whole lot better than going through those pines. Not that I was getting scratched up or anything yet, but so far anyway, we'll see how long it lasts. Looks like it might be over already pretty quick here. All right, so this is getting kind of steeper and steeper here. Uh, the way Jillian describes, I think in Jillian's book, I should be a little farther over here, but the way she describes it is this section ends in a steepish drop on the right, to the right of a rock band. Anyway, I will keep going down here. I'm going the correct direction. I am uh, losing altitude, which is what I want to do. And uh, it's going pretty well. I still haven't started scratching myself up or anything. So this is nice open forest. So in 200 meters on the topo, there's an open area. Now maybe that means a nice, wonderful meadow. Or maybe that means like a cliff. So obviously one is great and the other one sucks. I have to figure my way around it. But either way, I can navigate uh, with a big open meadow, all right? Hello, I can just sort of see some rocks poking out here. I want it a little too far right. It's very easy to do that with uh, when you're side hilling. Oh, a cut tree. And look at this. This looks like, yeah, this, I didn't see the little peak in the trees there. This is a cut line. Not very wide, but it is a cut line. It's straight, straight through. Cool. I'm actually going to climb and go see the open area. All right. I think this rock band is one of the ones that Jill is talking about. And that cut line. I actually, you know, like I actually have it marked way down there when I did 21B. It's, she talks about, it seems like a no brainer to take that, but it's also like up, down, up, down, up, down, like all these knolls, like screw that. Go down, there's some water. Actually, like I remember I said one kilometer, I was looking at the wrong waypoint. I have way farther to go than that. But there's a thing of water on here, there's a creek, not far. And I think that'll just lead me all the way back to where I need to be, all right? I don't know. In the meantime, let's head down here. Still at the rock band, trying to just take advantage of this position to navigate a little bit. I don't want to be, like the waypoint I had is over there. That's heading up Missing Bink Link 21B. I need to get all the way around this like that. So yeah, I just got to get my sense of direction here, right? You have to have an open area, otherwise you're just using compass and stuff. But even then you can't find points on a map if you can't see mountains or ridges or any such thing. Well, I was side hilling high above this creek for a long time, but I find, you know, it's not always a good idea to go down to a creek. Sometimes there's just trees across it and who knows. So that's why I was staying high, but I've been kind of forced to come down and I think this creek will bring me back to where I need to go so still need to get around this and then back that way so let's see how it goes well I can think of worse things I mean I love a babbling brook creek right I'll probably get my feet wet as I cross like 70 million times because it's 1.8 kilometers until I broke off from last time and maybe I'll have to climb back up and look for some other way across, but hey, you know, all part of the fun, baby. All right, let's go. It's 
So there's a nice little section here. Oh, I gotta cross again, or climb up. This is a lot of work, right? It's tactical, constantly uh, choosing the path where I put each footstep. Do I cross, do I not cross, do I climb up over here? Is that gonna give me 20 meters of nice walking, you know? But yeah, it's also, it's also just pleasant, right? And it's, uh, you know, it's just, it's just kind of fun. It's fun, right? It's definitely not boring. So this is looking back. There is a pretty clear trail there. Maybe that went up there and there was a trail above this the whole time. I haven't gone that far. But now it's clearly come down here, so let's see what happens. Trail would certainly make my life a little easier, right? I could uh, do more enjoying and less, ooh. Cool. A little bit more enjoying and less work. Well, the trail is there sometimes and sometimes it's not. 1.2 kilometers until I intercept where I left off. I intercept 21B. Yeah, it's a ways. It's interesting on the knees. It's uh, the feet. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm getting tired, but I mean, nothing to do but keep pitching on, right? And I might as well enjoy myself. The constant sightings of moss and yeah. The closer I get to civilization, the easier I think this will get. I think this is the first time I've seen cow plop. More people, more cows. You know, they help beat down a trail. So it's also starting to flatten out a little bit. You can see kind of a trail up here. Well, I hope it stays this way. It's really flattened out. It's very easy to just pick my line, nice line, soft grass. Yeah, I'll take this for the next kilometer, 100%. <laughs> and now I'm really spoiled. Now I just have a full blown cow trail going on. Beautiful. I just finished spreading on mosquito repellent. I noticed that on my last one that I was getting bit. Last year was such an amazing year for bugs. Like, I don't know how, but I was out on all kinds of trails. Where the bugs are, should have been just swarming and they weren't. It was so nice. So, be, you know, love to hope for that again, but nah. Here's a cut line. You can see that little break in the trees. I'm trying not to bring them too much over here. Another 500 meters until where I want to get to. By the way, the cow trail didn't last. Started wandering off into areas I didn't want to go to. So it's gotten actually a little more, a little harder again. But you know, all good things can't last forever. Decided across the creek for the first time in a while. And why am I ever glad I did? Look at all this. Right now I got perfect walking for a little bit. Man, I'm almost, I'm almost surprised I don't see like a camp spot, fire pit, something out here. Life is good. Out in nature, it's beautiful out. Nice trail. There's not even much smoke. Got it. This is 21B. This is where you take off and go up uh, missing link from that way. Oh man. I'm not even finished with these loops, you know. I have another one where I climb from Gorge, missing link down this thing, and then I go here, and then I would take off like basically towards, you know, like that way for a ways, and then come back on the old road. So 
yeah i am still not done with missing link there's all kinds of things up and down that's for sure okay from now on all the trail i've seen not bad you know when i did this it was from the opposite direction and there was also quite a bit of snow if i remember correctly so wouldn't have really seen all this nice greenery and i just ran into a black bear Brought my pack and immediately got this out but by the time i did that he'd already backed off and went into the bush i think i just yelled like maybe two minutes ago man okay <laughs> first encounter of the year where my blood gets going a little bit this is a little tough right because if he was there and he didn't back off well i need to get down there all right but he did not keep me in suspense long. He left. He, she. All right, as I make my way by here, I'm going to keep that out Get it in its own uh, hand once I put the phone away. Any of your friends around? Well, were you with a mate or something? Hey, bear! All right. Well, I didn't see anything of the bear. I get to cross this creek. There's plenty of snow down in this thing. That's for sure. This is the most snow I've seen all day. Hmm. It's kind of a weird one. Jill talks about going up there. There's an old trail. But there's also one that just goes straight through here, which probably is fine. So I'm just going to use that. I think I have to cross this a second time, actually. There's the trail I walked, it's just fine. And here's the other trail that Jill tells you to go and climb up and use. Not sure why, either way it's fine. All right, now I've got to cross this guy. This is a different creek. I think the two of them go down there and join forces. Look at the massive chasm that's created by the two of them. Okay, got that. Here we have a trail split and I want to use that one. And I want to take the shortest route to uh, back to my car to Bighorn. All right, back to civilization. 500 meters on the, uh, the road and I'm back to my car. Oh boy, that was tough. I don't know how many kilometers that was. She uh, points out that with 21B, it's 14.4. So, I don't know. I think you can count on at least that. But the technical, I mean, all day there was technical. If I was on a trail, I had to make sure it was going the right way. Yeah, like just nonstop for sure. It was really only the last four or five kilometers where I knew the trail. I knew where I was going and there was really no question, right? Wow. Yeah, that was tough, man. That was a that was a Kananaskis humdinger. Sheep Valley, baby. All right, well. Get out there and hike.